What a positively beautiful evening. 72, 73 degrees, whatever you want to call it, on Monday, November the 9th. Welcome back, YouTube. It's old Chevy 4x4. Let's talk for a minute. First and foremost, welcome back, guys. It's been a long time since I've uh, set the camera up and just made y'all a video just, just shooting a breeze, you know, a little update type of thing. For that, I apologize. It's been a busy summer. It always is. You guys know how that goes. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are doing better than I'm doing and the missus is doing at the moment. So it's the 9th, as I said. Um, last week, we contracted the coronavirus. We sure did. Uh, actually, she contracted and brought it home to me is the way I maintain it happened. Um, COVID-19, the Rona, the China virus, whatever you want to call it, we got it. Um, I speak for myself, I'm not going to speak for her, because she had it a little worse than I did. But I would say my case was, um, I guess, mild for the coronavirus, because clearly it's killing people. It's not that, not something to screw around with. But compared to the flu or something like that, I would say it's been mild. Uh, I was running a fever. The fourth, I got up for work. I was feeling fine. <coughs> uh, didn't have an appetite, though. And, you know, I'm a chunky fella. I usually like to have my breakfast in the morning. And no dice. was not hungry. Made it through up to lunch at work and still didn't want to eat anything. Forced myself to eat my lunch. And uh, everything tasted fine. Everything was all right. By the time I got home that evening, I was sniffling, sneezing. My eyes were running a little bit. And I was getting, like, achy. My shoulders were getting achy. Um, I had not realized in that time frame that I had lost my sense of taste and smell. Um, I stopped at the grocery store on the way home. That was a smart thing to do, right? But I did wear a mask. Um, I stopped at the grocery store, and I noticed I was walking by the deli near frying chicken, and I noticed I couldn't smell it. I was I kind of did a double take, like, huh? Usually it smells like it smells like chicken in here. They must have a better uh, vent system put in or something like that, but. Lo and behold, guys. So as the evening went on, I started running a fever, was getting chills, the aching got worse, a headache set in. By the fifth, uh, head was just killing me. It was a constant headache, ibuprofen wouldn't touch. Aching, uh, fever to hot sweat. So it was like burning hot, freezing cold, burning hot, freezing cold, just back and forth. And uh, aching something fierce. Coughed a little, never really, I still haven't really, knock on wood. I break out, I'll cough a little bit here and there, and little fits, and then it just kind of goes away. But uh, sneezing, nose running, just, just kind of almost like a bad cold, except for the ache and the headache and uh, the fever up and down, you know. Um, fast forward a few days, I'm still really dog tired. I mean, I've been sleeping, I hate to brag, but I've been sleeping like 14 plus hours in the evening time because, you know, I go to sleep and it's like 14 hours before I wake up. It just. I've been, been uh, exhausted, and I'll get up and I'll get something to eat, and I'm ready to go back to bed. Uh, it's like 7, not even 7 o'clock, 6.50 as I'm talking to you, and I'm run down and exhausted already, and I've only been going since like 9 this morning. Um, that said, guys, we are battling the corona just fine. We are, I think we've seen it. We, we have turned the, the corner. We've made the turn at the corner, and I feel like we're kind of pulling out towards the other end of it now, so... It's Mondays I'm making this. I hope they have it up tomorrow or Wednesday or whenever. And uh, I'll be back to work in theory the 18th, I think, is when they cleared us to go back. i got to look and see. Of course, i got Tennessee Department of Health calling every day, wanting to make sure I'm not going anywhere. And So the whole two-week isolation thing really isn't going to be that big of a deal. Um, you know, we're, I'm a certain kind of person. I hate to use the word prepper because that conjures up images of people digging up you know, bomb shelters and all kinds of stuff. But I always kind of keep a prepared mindset along certain things and, you know, um, among other things, but food and medical supplies are two things that I like to have on hand at all times. And we got plenty of food, so having to lock it down, that's really no big deal. Um, we get our dog food once a month off the off the internet anyways, buy it from Tractor Supply. UPS guy just loves me dropping off box after box of dog food. Um, you know, stuff like that. We really don't do, since Corona said it, we really haven't done a whole lot of in real shopping. We've done most of our stuff has been at Amazon, you know, something like that, or just our local stores down here. So now we're just cutting the local stores out. And uh, we got a few more days to go with this, and, and we'll be all right. 
Um, that said, while I'm home and doing nothing, I have been shooting little clips of videos here and there all summer long that y'all have not seen. And some of them I'm going to go ahead and, and just string together on this. And y'all don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but I'm bored and i got to do something with my time. So I'm going to put something together. This video is probably going to turn a lot longer than I really anticipated it or intended it to. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching it and checking it out. Um, as always... I'm getting ahead of myself, but as always, thank you for stopping by. And I'm going to do some probably some voiceover and some of these clips and crap like that because, you know, they're not really going to make sense, probably. But I will leave you with uh, a little, the last little shop update. This Briggs Model 9, which is still haunting me. It's still a little warm, too. This thing has been nothing but a trial and a tribulation for me. And I've done all kinds of crap to it. And most recently, I'm down to putting a muffler on it and a fuel line. And I bought fuel line, and I bought the wrong size, so it's a brake line. But I brought the, bought the wrong size, and this has been sitting out here for well, since last week. And now I can't go get more. So I guess I need to get online and see if I can find a piece online and put on there. All right, without any further ado, let's get going. Well, guys, I'm out of breath. I apologize. It has uh, been about five months, actually over five months, and I'm finally cutting. This is still all that storm damage, you know, from where we lost some big trees and all that. Finally cutting back into my scrap metal and what was some project tractors, but they are looking like they're scrap metal now, too. Um, didn't want to get into this during the summertime. Because of snakes, you know, I wanted to wait for it to cool off some. And it's down in the low 50s right now, nice and cool. But you can finally see back there. It's just been a lot. I've hauled off four loads of brush and branches and limbs and such. I'm not done. Still got trees there. There, I know it's getting dark. You know, all my videos are always in the dark. Well. No rest for the wicked on this hill. And despite working over and having 50 or 60 pieces of my own cast iron to restore, I'm still insisting on jobbing out work to other people. So here's today's job. Like I don't have enough stuff to be working on. Now I'm messing with my griddle. I swear I got ADHD. Or adult ADHD. So, I got a, a, a Blue Rhino Razor griddle. And it has piezo, piezo, whatever ignition on uh the knobs are a little gas knobs, and I don't like that because I don't like sitting there click, 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 trying to get the thing to light. Well, in my hoard of stuff, best way I can put it, I got an old gas grill. And that old gas grill had electronic ignition with multiple ignition sources. So I thought, well, hey, that'll work. I went and got a new battery, put a new battery in. Didn't work. Very rusty. I think, maybe. If I can get that cleaned up, I may be onto something. Perfect. 
that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. As always, I appreciate each and every one of y'all taking some time out of your day to stop by, check out the channel, leave the comments, do all that good stuff. As always, stay safe, stop back. We'll see you in the next one.